What's up tech junkies, my name is JD and welcome back to the channel where we do tech reviews, unboxings, PC stuff, setup design, and personalization. So if you're into that kind of stuff, consider checking out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. So moving on to the topic of today, should you be waiting for Zen or Ryzen? Um, yeah, I know, I'm standing today. It's a little bit different. I'm not sitting down in the chair um, just because I didn't feel like putting the chair over the desk because I have to carry it because my room is small. But yeah, anyways, moving on. Should you be waiting for Ryzen? Well, there, there's a lot of things to consider because are you upgrading your PC? Are you building a new one? So this is going to be more in context with if you're building a whole new computer, it's uh, all together. So this is my first point that I want to bring up. So let's say Ryzen drops and it does have good performance. Now, regardless if it does or doesn't, it's good just to wait just to see how the waters are. And what I mean by that is um, Ryzen can offer uh, competitive pricing for competitive performance. Now, uh, Ryzen isn't necessarily supposed to be ranked next to Kaby Lake. It's supposed to be more matched with the uh, Broadwell series of Intel CPUs, which is still a great line of CPUs. These are very relevant to this day. So it's, it's something to consider because having that sort of uh, competition in the market is a great thing to have because you don't have just Intel charging whatever they want. They still have CPUs from three years ago that are that they are still charging full price for. So um, yeah, that can potentially change. So that brings me to my next point. This might actually drive down the price of some other CPUs by Intel. Now it might, it might not. They could be like, we still don't care. We'll charge what we want. And yeah, they're still um, going to release their enthusiast line of CPUs, which they haven't yet. But even then, um, those CPUs are so expensive. Um, those really aren't within the budget of a lot of uh, gamers or PC builders. Uh, me, for one, um, I don't have $1,000 to spend on an eight core hyper-threaded CPU from Intel. So that's not really a priority for me, nor would I really need that. Um, that's really just um, overkill at that point. But the Ryzen uh, processors are supposed to have hyper-threading and also um, eight cores, 16 threads, and so on and so forth down with the quad cores as well. Um, so they're offering a very competitive platform here. So this is something to really look into. So let's let's say that it actually does drive down some prices of other CPUs. Whether you're, you're still gonna go with Intel, regardless of AMD dropping Ryzen, it's still a good thing to really see if those prices will go down a little bit on the Intel CPUs once Ryzen drops. If it doesn't, then it doesn't, but it's still good to really test that out. Now, the next thing you want to really consider is um, it, it's supposed to debut sometime in uh, February, I believe. So whether that happens or not, uh, it's really not that far away. And I know it's really, really, really um, easy just to get sucked up and wind to buy all your gamer gear or all your PC gear. I want to buy another PC. I don't have money to buy another PC, but I want to buy another one. You don't want to regret making a decision too early. Um, you don't know how the market's going to be in a month from now when those uh, CPUs actually drop. So when they do, those can offer up new options for you. So you really want to consider all your options. If you have all your options considered and you know what your budget is and you've got everything all mapped out, that that's good and that's great and that you know you played this game well because these things are expensive. At least for me, it is. Or people on a budget. So these are a lot of things to consider and you really wanna consider all those options. This can potentially be really big if um, it is what AMD is making it out to be. So my next point is if you're a budget builder versus someone who has the money to spend on what they want on all enthusiast platform uh, items and components to go into your computer, this probably doesn't even concern you um, unless you're genuinely interested in the new um, AM4 platform with the Zen processors. So if you're on a budget, um, if you're in that realm, which a lot of people are, I highly recommend to wait. Uh, prices are going to change uh, or they might change. I can't foresee into the future, 
but it's like I said really good to consider all your options and especially if you're on a budget you need to consider all these options so my girlfriend for example um, her MacBook is kind of dying so I want to build her a PC and we're gonna pull together the funds to do that do exactly that but um, as excited as I am to build another PC because I can't get uh, my hands on more computer parts because or at least new ones because I don't have the money to do that um, I don't want her going out and buying stuff um, you know she wants she doesn't really need it for gaming or anything she just needs it for productivity so she doesn't really need the top of the line stuff or anything crazy like that she probably doesn't even need a GPU but with that being said, I don't want her to go out and buy a budget build when there can potentially be a much better option of a budget build within a month from now. So there's a prime example of how this can affect you or how that can relate to you. So like I said, consider your options. Those prices might change. Um, there's a lot to consider. So yeah, that's my opinion on if you should be waiting for Ryzen or not. And the ultimate answer is yes, you should be. Um, if you don't really care about a budget, you don't, you're not really interested in the Ryzen platform, then obviously, no, don't wait for it. But for most cases, most people, even people who are just genuinely interested in the computer industry, they should wait for Ryzen. So uh, yeah, I hope that helps you guys out, gives you some insight, and maybe helps motivate you to wait a little bit longer. Of course, if you need to build a PC right now, obviously you need to build it right now. But if you can push it back a little bit, and just push it back, then I would wait for Ryzen. It's really weird standing, is it? Is it weird? So if you guys wanna see more videos like this, where we talk about uh, the PC market, and we talk about setup design, personalization, uh, doing PC builds sometime in the future and doing tech reviews and unboxings and everything in between. Then consider subscribing and checking out the rest of the channel. And if you liked the video, consider giving it a like. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I wanna thank you guys for watching and as always, indulge in being the tech junkie that you are. You know you're a tech junkie. You wouldn't be here if you weren't a tech junkie or maybe you just stumbled across here because you feel sorry for me because because you're like, wow, this, this guy's an idiot. I'm done. Good night, guys. Your phone book full of numbers and names. All them great decisions keep you chasing.